In today's video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use augmented reality in Shopify, or we're going to learn how to use 3D models in Shopify. First, we will talk a little bit about AR or augmented reality, and second, we will talk about 3D models and the things that you need to know before you upload the 3D models in Shopify. So without further ado, let's begin. Now before we begin this video, if you're not a Shopify developer and you want to learn more about liquid programming so that you can customize your Shopify store or so that you can understand your Shopify themes, then you can take my Shopify theme development course and my Shopify liquid programming course. I'll put the links of those courses in the description below and you can use the coupon code AUGMENTED to get 30% off. And also if you want to take my course through Udemy, you should be able to find the links down in the comments below. And they should also have coupon codes. Anyway, enough of that. Let's begin this video by answering the question in just a very short description. What is augmented reality? Augmented reality is a way to connect or combine two worlds. Our world, which is this world that we're currently living in, and the digital world, which is everything inside of a computer. You might have heard or played a game called Pokemon Go. It's a game that allows you to catch Pokemons in real life. Basically, you will have to use your phone's GPS or global positioning system and AR or augmented reality feature to scan your environment and find Pokemons. So in a way, it's like you are inside of the game itself. Okay, so that's extremely fun, but how does it work in Shopify? In Shopify, we can use augmented reality or AR to give the customers the ability to see the products in real life environment. For example, let's say I have a Shopify store and in that Shopify store, I'm selling tables. I can then allow my customers to see if the table that I'm selling looks good inside of their house. If it looks good, then maybe they'll buy it. If not, then I guess not. But I gotta say, having 3D models in your product page can increase your conversion rates. In fact, a lot of Shopify merchants said that their conversion rates double just by having 3D models. So if you're a Shopify store owner and you're watching this video, then it's good that you're considering augmented reality. Okay, so let's just cut to the chase. How to use augmented reality? in Shopify. First, we need obviously a 3D model, specifically with a file type GLTF or GLB. GLTF or GLB files are the 3D models that are used for virtual reality or augmented reality. So if you have a 3D model and its file type is, let's say, FBX or OBJ or object, then you might have to convert that into a GLTF file or GLB file. So I have a 3D model here. You can use this. I'll put the link of this file in the description description below. You can just download it and use it just to test your Shopify themes. In addition to what I said earlier, if you don't know anything about 3D modeling whatsoever, you have two options. It's either you hire a 3D artist or you buy 3D models online. If you do either of those, make sure that you follow the following technical requirements. First, this is important, it must be a GLB file or the file extension or the file type must be GLB. The second requirement is the texture. The textures must be using JPEG or the file type must be JPEG and then the resolution of the image must be below 3 megapixels. And the last requirement is the file size. The file size of the GLB file must be below 15 megabytes. Okay, so let's say you now have the 3D model. Let's go to our computer. In the Shopify admin, open the products page and then let's create a new product so we can do this together from scratch. Click the add product button and let's call this product a simple office table and then for the description you can just type anything you want this is a very simple table it doesn't matter it's fine so you can just set this to whatever you want next up is the status or the product status make sure they change this to active and then here in the media you can just drag the following glb file here and you should start uploading. And once that's done, we can just continue and scroll down and just set the price to the following. I'll set this to 50 and the compare at price, I'll set this to 49. And now we can save it. Hit save. And now we can open this product by clicking the preview button. And we should have the following product now. And here, as you can see, we have the table. 
If you click this button, it will initiate the model viewer. What is a model viewer? The model viewer is a web component created by Google. So what you're seeing right over here is the model viewer component generated by the liquid filter called model viewer tag. So if you don't know anything about Shopify Liquid or the filters, you can check out this video. I'll put the link in the eye icon right over here, or you can check out the description once again. So let's click this. And as you can see, now it's loading. It's initiating the model viewer. And once that's loaded, you can play around here. So you can rotate it. You can even look underneath. You can even zoom in and zoom out using your mouse. You can even use the following user interface. If you want to full screen this, you can click this. If you want to zoom in, you can click the plus button. And if you want to zoom out, you can click the minus button. Just like that. Okay, so now that we know what is a model viewer, let's take a look at the product once again using our smartphone. If you open the Shopify store and the product that we created a while ago, we should have this button with the label view in your space. If you click that, it will initialize the AR feature of the model viewer. And if you just give this a little time and let it scan your environment, you should have the table. So you see that's how easy it is to use models or 3D models and AR in Shopify. Now Bernard, I followed everything that you did in this video, but I don't think it's working. Now there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. If AR is not working in your Shopify store, then it's probably because of your Shopify themes. So make sure that you're using an up-to-date Shopify theme. And if you're using a Shopify theme that you bought from someone or from somewhere, then make sure that you ask them if they implemented AR or augmented reality in the Shopify theme. Because sometimes some developers don't even bother adding this feature. And there you have it guys, that's how you use augmented reality or 3D models in Shopify. Now before we end this video, let's learn how to render the model viewer component using Shopify Liquid. In this video, I am using the theme called Dawn. So if you're using a different Shopify theme, then you probably will have a different code or files. If you can't follow along, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to guide you where you can write the code that I'll be writing in this video. However, before we continue, if you are using a Shopify store that actually sells products, I highly recommend you don't use that, instead use a development store. You can go to shopify.dev and create a development store over there, okay? I will not be responsible for any mistakes that you will be doing while watching this video. Once again, do not use an actual Shopify store. So here in the admin page, open the online store. And then in the current theme, click actions and then edit code. Now since the product is being rendered in the product page, it should be the product's template. So open the templates folder and look for the product.json or product.liquid. If your template is a JSON file, then you must have a section file attached to it. So in the product.json, as you can see, we have the section file called main product. So we need to open this file. It should be in the sections folder. Scroll down and look for the main product. So here, open the main product.liquid and we can write our code right over here. So let's do it just above everything, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is to loop through the product.media. So we can create a for tag here, for, and then the condition is for each media in the product.media, we will do something, okay? And that is to render the media. So and for, Make sure that you close the tag. Once again, if you don't know anything about tags, you can watch the liquid tutorial that I created in this channel. So I'll put the link in the description below, or you can check out the eye icon right over here, okay? So inside of the for tag, we are going to render the 3D model. So the first thing that we're going to do is to check the media type. What is it? Is it a model? Is it a video or is it an image? So we can use an if tag to check if the media type media underscore type is equal to model if it's a model then that means that is a 3d model so first let's end the if using the end tag like so and then inside of the if we can render the 3d model so let's just type something here for now this is a model so if i save this and if we open our shopify store and let's open two products, one without a 3D model and one with a 3D model. So I'm opening this product as well as the table. So let's open this product and as you can see, we don't have the this is a model. 
There's nothing in here. Everything is just an image. What about the table? As you can see, we have this is a model. That means the condition is working. So the next thing we're going to do is to use the model viewer tag. So instead of rendering this a model, we need to create an object and use the media object, media or media variable, and then use the filter called model viewer tag. So model underscore viewer underscore tag. And now we can save this we can go back to the product with a model this one and if we refresh this page as you can see now we have the following model viewer so that's how you render a model viewer very very simple in just a short code you'll be able to render a model viewer so that is how you use AR or augmented reality in Shopify and that's also how you use 3d models in Shopify now if you enjoyed this video let me know by hitting the like button and sub to the channel for more videos like this and also don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you won't miss my future uploads. Now in the next video, we will talk about a library called Shopify XR. What is that? Well, you need to find out in the next video. But for now, that is it for me. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.